Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV is proudly supported by Adventure Spec in England, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, and Adventure Moto in Australia. It's been 10 years since Mad TV first kicked a leg over the then brand new Yamaha Tenere XTZ660. Over those years it's developed a loyal band of riders, particularly in Europe, South America and Australasia. It's strange, but for some reason this dual sport adventurer wasn't imported into the United States. In its standard kit, the Tenere comes with a solid reliable engine, a long fuel range, great carrying capacity and a nice little fairing to keep the wind off the chest on those long miles. In fact, it's a pretty good setup for a dual sport, but one thing I still can't rave about is the suspension. It's the obvious thing that lets down what is otherwise a solid package. Is this a critical failing of the bike? Well, not really. At the end of the day, in its standard form, the bike will take you anywhere. But it means when you hit the rough stuff, you have to slow down. However, the great thing about the Tenere is that the model has stayed relatively untouched in those 10 years. And this has given time for riders to develop their own modifications to improve what is otherwise a great foundation for adventure. Recently, Greg Yeager of Adventure Motorcycling Tour Company, RideADV.com.au, invited me to ride his modified Yamaha Tenere on his 900km bush to beach adventure. Greg has ridden over 200,000 kilometres on these bikes in the toughest of conditions and has committed to systematically improving their capability and ultimately the riding experience. Along the way he's enlisted the help of suspension specialists techniques and tested a range of accessories. Only those accessories that have survived a flogging and proved their worth have ended up on the bike. I've been riding the Yamaha Tenere now for about 300 kilometres in varying terrain. This is the Greg Yeager setup that we've discussed before. And if you look at the top right hand corner of your YouTube uh, right now, uh, there's a link to see all the modifications that this bike's got. But, uh, gee, the setup that Greg's made of this Tenere, I mean, it was a wonderful platform to start with, but... Yeah, a wonderful platform to start with, but he's just added so much more. The Technic's uh, front-end suspension on this bike is so good. Greg's setup improvements are deceptively simple. There's no excess bling on this bike. The cockpit is simple and every component or modification has a purpose. However, the suspension modifications by Technic unquestionably transform this bike from average dual purpose to competent adventurer. The front forks absorb those unpredictable big hits and G-outs without bottoming and yet retain a capacity to soak up the small stuff. The rear shock improvements balance the modifications to the forks and their actions complemented each other. The end result is a sure-footed, confidence-inspiring bike that reduced fatigue and vastly improved the riding experience. It allowed you to ride faster, longer and most importantly happier. Greg's tyre selection of the Dunlop 952 on the front and 606 on the rear was excellent. They offered great grip on the dirt and were reasonable on the tar and had tons of wear left after the 900 k's of this trip. It's funny how the small things can really make a difference. I appreciated the longer and wider foot pegs that allowed me to more easily weight the outside peg on corners and made standing more comfortable. The rear brake extension was also a big hit with me, easy to find and gave great feel to the rear brake. The twin barret exhausts give a very fruity kind of sound and when you back off there's a little burble and occasional backfire that sounds really cool. 
but they're not loud enough to get irritating and they're a lot lighter than the standard exhausts. Unfortunately, I forgot to film these little Denali riding lights in action. They are amazing. I can't get over how much light they pump out for their size and yet draw very little current. They provide a very wide beam that extends beyond each side of the gravel verge. A very useful accessory that may prevent you from hitting some wildlife. 1700 metres! <laughs> Gotta be happy with that! Look at that, that colour is matching the sky! <laughs> Apart from a different colour scheme, the standard Yamaha Tenere really hasn't changed that much over the years. But it's a popular dual sporter and for most average riders suits their needs. But after riding Greg's bike, what is apparent is over the years tried and tested modifications and accessories have evolved that transform this bike from average to exceptional. A big thanks to Australian motocross legend Stephen Gall for riding with me, Greg Yeager and Yamaha Australia. Now I've left a couple of links to follow and I'll let you into a little secret. This first link takes you back 10 years to when we first tested the Tenere, a full movie length adventure. It was this movie that motivated Greg Yeager to buy his first Tenere. The second is the latest bush to beach ride with rideadv.com.au.